days to put their application in to bring their student here. And just a reminder that anybody who does not have an application into the district before August 15th of this year, they will not be considered under the non-resident acceptance to this. For the 24-25, yes. Yeah. But they, they too will only be allowed to attend for the 24-25 school year. If and have, after that right. point, we will not be accepting any right. other non-resident students with the exception of employees. Right. Does that make sense? Good. Good. Just wanted to make sure that somebody out there, because <laughs> it, it was a lot for us to absorb. It was a lot, you know, of different layers. So I wanted to make sure that I got it all straight. Okay. Yep. We're in discussion right now. Me and you. Yeah, this is a weird form because <laughs> I'm not seeing public comment. That's yeah, like Molly and the yeah. Here. Well, um, okay, we're good. We're all good. Yep. Are there any other comments from the board before we vote on the first reading? I just want to say it has been a very, very hard decision for the board. We've all taken a ton of time, consulted our lawyer, then very tried to use our wisdom, even. Uh, even when our hearts were trying to pull us in a place that is hard sometimes. So I just want the community to understand that we consider this as a very important responsibility. Yes. But first and foremost, we need to take care of our students. We need to take care of the students who reside within the district. Right. Yep. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstained? Um, we don't have a comments from the public set in here. Um, however, if there's any, because we we did kind of include you in there, which we don't normally do, <laughs> but because it was you, I mean, I mean, just one because person you're here, yes, <laughs> you're, and, and you're in front of us, and you are public. But that being said, is there any other comment you'd like to make? Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, you guys are doing this because. I mean, long story short, Reese, so I call him Reese, names are Reese, but I call him Reese, uh, came to me in October, dropped on my doorstep, said, here, came to Whitney Point and has progressed thousand percent. He is, from August to June, was, I don't know who he is now, because he progressed so much reading, writing, you know, manners, he has those off days of being a kid, like we all do, even as adults, but that's why I wanted to keep him here, but we had to move out of the district, obviously. But I'm thankful you guys are doing this because it's it, it's going to give me that full year to actually see what I can do with him in third grade and in a special needs classroom. So mm -hmm. I, I thank you guys for doing this and, and taking the time and, and really thinking it over. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Any other business this evening? Okay. Then we are going to adjourn the public meeting at, is that Tiana? Yeah, thank you. Okay. So at 6.36, may I have a motion? Someone at 7.36. I'm yeah, sorry. No, you're, no, you're fine. <laughs> um, so Chris and I'll assume Molly's seconding. Yeah, yes, I second. <laughs> okay. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Any abstain? Thank you very much for attending tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Good night, Tiana. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you for sleeping so late, Kevin. <laughs> and again, tell Frank we said. I don't know. Her. Betty tried, I guess. No, I know. During the day, she's trying. To Sorry for all the technology inventions. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Yep. Here's Chris. For the first that time that today, I'm actually cold. Yeah, I know. I'm getting my. I, I've been sweating so. all day. I'm saying. It's cold in there. Huh? Really well, no, it's funny because <laughs> right behind my desk, there's an AC vent. And normally, 
like when nobody's going in and out of the door, I start getting so cold. Going yeah, as quick as somebody goes in and out of the, the door. door. Yeah. yeah. After we do second policy and we vote, then we can bring the policy back forward to clarify the level of employees that get the benefits. Oh, well, uh, well no, we need to know by second reading. Yeah. Second yeah. reading. If we're going to enact this, which mm -hmm. we are going to, we have to have second reading and have that set. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to yeah. be part of the policy. Specified. Okay. Okay. Well, I didn't know if we yeah. would leave it as is now. But then bring the policy back up during the school year and say to make our formal changes. Make our formal changes. I didn't know which way we wanted to go. If, if we're going to enact the policy, the policy has to be set. The exactly. only thing is, you could say employee, not clarify it, and then at another time amend it to say full time if you wanted to. Okay. I mean, we don't really we don't have any part time employees that right are affecting here. Not right now. I still feel it should be an option for part-time employees, but 